Hey, what's up everyone? It's Christopher Chevron, better known as Denevive again, and I am here with a guide about the possibly best underused potion in the game, and that is the Dark Water Potion. I have it moused over there on my inventory. Now, this potion here, it transforms you into a Jinyu, but the two main things are is that it increases your movement speed by 70% and also your swim speed by 200%. Now, that is fucking amazing. I mean, this potion can be game changing in both PvP and it has applications in PvE encounters. Um, I'll give you an example of a PvE encounter. Say you are fixated on Thok, and you do not have an ability to run away fast, and he's real close to you. Well, guess what? You can pop one of these potions, and you can run as fast as someone who is mounted away from him. That is how powerful this potion can actually be. Now, I want to show you some tests here about just what this potion does and how good it is. And once again, I hardly ever, ever see someone using this potion. And I have no idea why. I mean, it is beyond belief just overpowered okay I'll put it that way it is an OP potion so let me show you here um, I'm on my mount here and just keep in mind one second here I am a death knight and I do have death advance so I have a little bit of an increase on my mounted speed so right now I have 240 percent run speed and my swim speed is 73%. Um, if I switch to, say, another mount here, 240%, swim speed 73%. So it's the same. So if I run around on here, you know, hey, you can see about how fast I'm going. And it's about standard, of course. It's a normal mount, normal mount speed and that's how fast you can go. So let me do something here. Let me, I'll start at this tree. Uh, I'm gonna bring up my stopwatch. Bring up my clock, bring up my stopwatch. My stopwatch is down here. Uh, let me put it here in the middle of the screen so it's a little bit easier to see. And I'm gonna run all the way to uh, the rock that's right over there. Or that rock okay so as I mounted let's see how fast or how long it takes me to run there so let me line up and here we go da, 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 da. four five six seven eight nine ten eleven about. okay so it took me about eleven seconds all right so Take that as you will. Now, let me try this with the dark water potion. So, let me clear this, and I'm going to demount, turn back around, get my ass up against this tree, and am I lined up? Yes, I am lined up. Ass is against the tree, and here I go. I'm going to pop this pot, and I'm going to run. Boom! Pot is popped. And I'll add like one second there because I was slow on the click. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So again, twelve seconds to the sprock. Um, I mean, r really, that's about the same speed as um, the mount itself. Now, the dark water potion. I don't know if you saw it. It's a forty-five second cooldown, and at a movement speed of 70 percent 
um, as soon as this cooldown comes up again, I will actually show you my run speed or what it would actually be with the potion running. So, 10 seconds here on the cooldown. Uh, I guess I can get rid of this now. I don't need that. Okay, so the potion popped. I click it. I'm at 187% run speed. So, it's a little bit less than, say, if I was on a regular mount, which a, whoops, a, a regular mount would be 240. So, okay, it's a little bit slower, but once again, I am a Death Knight with Death's Advance, and for people who don't know what that is, uh, this right here, you passively move 10% faster and movement and parrying effects may not reduce you below 70% of your normal movement speed. You, uh, when activated, you gain 30% movement speed. It may not be slowed beyond blah, 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 blah. So actually, I move 10% faster in terms of both running speed and mounted speed. So once again, that kind of makes it a little bit skewed in terms of my actual speed. Now, how do you get a dark water potion? Well, here is the hard part, okay? You need to fish up spine fish, okay? Let me run out there. Here is a spawn for spine fish. Yeah, there's one in this little tiny area. Um, I am in the dread place up here. Open the map again. I am up here. And there's one spot. Great. Okay, so here's how the conversion goes. You need three spine fish to make two desecrated oils. You then need three desecrated oils for one dark water potion. Now, let me repeat that. You need three spine fish to make two desecrated oils, and you need three desecrated oils for one dark water potion. And yes, I know that seems like a really odd ratio. It doesn't make that much sense. So, these spine fish schools are probably the most difficult to find in all of Pandaria. They only exist, uh, I mean, this is perhaps one of the only ones that are actually outside of a cave. I mean, y you have to find the spawns typically inside of caves, which is just fucking extremely annoying because you gotta go in there, you gotta kill the mobs to get to the spawn, and unless you are lucky enough to have the Ancient Medarian fishing charm, which will sometimes allow you to get more than one fish at a time, you're gonna be there for a while, and the spawns are not they don't respawn that quickly. So getting spine fish is not the easiest task in the world. Uh, it is pretty damn annoying. Now there is though one secret to being able to get a shit ton of spine fish and I'm going to show you that next because this is the way I farm for this. And I will sit there and farm this area until my eyes bleed. And I hate fishing. I think it's, it's, it needs to be completely redone in WoW. They did a good job by adding in this ancient Pandarian fishing charm, allowing you to get possibly more fish per cast. But I hate fishing with a passion. It's, it, it's boring as hell. And I think a lot of you will agree with me with that. So, let me show you where 
or the trick to getting a ton of these very easily. So bear with me. I'm going to stop this and I will show you what to do. Hey there folks, I'm back and as you can see I am at Half Hill in the Valley of the Four Winds and I'm going to show you how to find out where the majority or possibly I want to call it the daily fishing spot is in Pandaria and this is something I think most people really don't don't know about. Um, this was added in patch 5.2 I believe and every day uh, there is a fishing area that is randomly picked. It can be any type of fish. It can be like uh, the red bellies, it can be the paddlefish, uh, the giant shrimp, etc. Any of those can be picked and they can be located around the continent of Pandaria. Now the only way besides flying your ass off looking everywhere which would be a complete waste of time is to come here to Half Hill. Uh, you can see me over here. I am at the water. Let me open and close that again so you can see where I am. I'm right next to the water on this side on the east side of Half Hill and there is this fishing trainer next to this boat that doesn't do anything. So anyway, so you talk to this fishing trainer and he says two things. Sure, I'd love to hear a secret or even better, can you just show me on my map? Well, if you click the first one, he will tell you what fish of the day is actually going on. And he'll read off some stuff here, blah, 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 and then you'll see that, oh, you may already know this, but the spine fish is a rather aggressive fish. Oh my god! So the daily fishing spot is for spine fish. Holy shit. Okay, that's much better than going into a fucking cave and maybe finding one or two spawns and having to fight a whole bunch of mobs or maybe finding a, a very small amount of spawns for the spine fish on the actual world. So then you say, "Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, well tell me where where the where is this?" And I'll say, "Okay, the spine fish are here and he is nice enough to actually mark it with an X on your map." Now it happens to be in the village in Kunlai Summit. So open up my map, go here. Oh, look at that. You can see there's a red X right up here. So I click on Kunlai Summit. Oh, it's right down there. So, okay, I need to head right there. All right. So, all right, I'm going to head there and I will be right back once again. Okay, so I am approaching the area. And hello there, Shah of Anger. How are you doing today? So anyway, I'm going to stop here a second. You're about to see a bazillion of yellow circles on my mini-map. There's the X that that guy gave us, and here they come. Whoa! Holy crap! Just whole holy crap. There are tons of spawns of Shaw-touched spinefish. I mean, every everywhere. They are all over the place. This is... When this happens, this is when you stop whatever you're doing and you come here and you farm. Like I said, you farm until your eyes bleed. If you need to play some heavy metal music or watch a movie or something, whatever. Just get here and farm the crap out of this place. Now, once again, I'm going to tell you, it takes three spine fish to make two desecrated oils. It then takes three desec desecrated oils to make one dark water potion. Of course, this is made by an alchemist. So, if you can find a potion spec alchemist, that would be great. But if you can't, well, it, it's okay. 
Especially if this is happening and you can farm up a lot of spine fish, you're not going to care. Um, sometimes in these uh, daily fishing spots, you will actually will find a huge fishing hole. I mean, it, it, it is literally like, see these, these three fishing holes right here? It's about that size, maybe a little bit bigger. Now, you can just keep casting into that thing because you're not going to miss. And as we all know, missing the fishing lure inside of the fishing hole is extremely annoying and stupid. But if you have this huge pool there, you can just keep fishing there and fishing there and fishing there until, holy shit, you pull out the Kraken. Now, the Kraken has about 16 million health. He hits pretty hard. He has a, a knockback effect that if you can't get back to him in time, he will reset. But, he is just like um, the Lurker Below. If you remember him from the, oh, holy crap, uh, Burning Crusade, the raid with Vash, uh, Serpentine Caverns, or whatever. I, I've lost my memory on it. He acts just like that. So, you can avoid a lot of his abilities, and he is actually extremely soloable. So you can solo this guy, really with any class, and except unless you're like a holy priest or you know something like that who doesn't really have a very good damaging attack, it, it'll probably take you a while. So, anyways, this is where you farm them. You then get an alchemist to make you the pots, and you are good to go. Uh, one thing I did not show you was the swim speed. So, oops, let me, uh, like, drop into the water. I said, let me drop into the water. In the water? Oh. Well, okay. So, I did this quest hub, and they won't let me... They're allowing me to float on the water. Uh, okay, okay. Now, I will fall into the water. Okay, so I'm in the water now. So, let me show you how fast this is in the actual water. So, I'm going to pop this, and I'm going swimming. I am swimming. Whoa! I am swimming about as fast as a mount on the ground. Swimming really fast, and it's pretty damn cool. And now I don't have the potion, and you can see how fast you swim without the potion. Yeah. So, there's a lot of difference there. And yes, I'm a Death Knight, and I have my, my, my special, like, Path of Frost. Yeah, that's my, my raid buff right there. Anyway, so, I'm going to show you after this some good PvP videos of where this Dark Water Potion has been used by myself to save the day. So, please watch on. I will comment on it and uh, I hope you can see the importance and basically the overpoweredness it's not a word but I will coin that word the OPness of this potion in terms of both PvP and some of the applications in PvE situations uh, there are more situations than just Thok uh, such as, how about spoils? Uh, that's another good spot where you have to run back and forth from the actual boxes. Or, say, you need to run into one of the, um, the robots crimson, whatever it's called, the, the red beam of light, and no one's getting around it because they're stupid, and you need to run into it to save the day. You can pop that pot and get over there. And once again, these pots will not fail you like the rocket boots from engineering. Um, they may not be as good. I, I, I've i not leveled up an engineer, so I don't know what the speed boost is on those. So, But they are not going to fail you. So 
in a raid where you may have the possibility of those failing and you could cause a wipe due to that or waste a battle res which would suck um, you can just use these pots instead and th the only caveat to that is that once you have started the encounter you can only use one potion so I mean okay you got you have healing pots that'll heal you for 120k whoop do you fucking do okay that I mean unless I'm a tank and <laughs> if I need to use one of these it's it's probably gonna be a wipe uh, of course the other one would be a mana pot or of course a potion of mogu power or the equivalents in terms of mana and agility uh, you would lose the ability to use those during the fight so it has its good and bad characteristics but it is a very very good potion and I don't know why more people use these I mean I honestly I have never seen someone use these in a battleground never nor in a, in, in I, uh, just or in a just a raid I have never seen someone use these I have no idea why I've seen spinefish posted on the auction house for dirt cheap prices because there is no other use for the spinefish they are specifically used for this and people are like well these things are stupid they're, they're not gonna sell and most people vendor them and it's like well hey I'll take them I'll buy them for the vendor price I'll buy them for more than the vendor price because I know what they're for so anyways guys thanks for watching good luck getting your dark water potions and I hope this guide helped you out Please hit me up with a like and subscribe to my channel and really help me out. Thank you and have a great day.